What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we have a tutorial on how to download your Google Play Music Library from Google Takeout. Now this is a response to a previous video where I showed you how to download your Google Play Music Library from Google Play Music in a web browser. Now this previous method wasn't a great solution because it didn't work well and it was confusing. So the goal of this video is hopefully Google Takeout is a better solution to download in your Google Play Music Library so you can use it for offline use or for uploading into another service. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. Now you can get the Google Takeout by using the link in the description below. You can also do a Google search for Google Takeout in a web browser. So here we are at the Google Takeout home screen. If you performed an export previously, it'll appear here at the top of the screen. So if we scroll down here, you'll see we have a long list of options, and that's because Google Takeout can be used for more than downloading your Google Play Music library. Google Takeout can actually be used for downloading all your data from Google. Now you can see all our categories are pre-selected for downloading, and that's because there's a check mark in each of the blue boxes here. Now if you wanted to download all your data in one session, you just keep all of these boxes checked. Now we can deselect all these boxes by clicking on Deselect All. Now this is a great idea if you want to select just a few items to download in a session. Now in order to make this video simple, we're going to scroll down to Google Play Music and we're going to select only this option. Now we can scroll down to the bottom of the screen and then we'll have a next step button we can click on. So next we have our delivery method. First we can select how we receive our download link and it's defaulted to via email and that's what I'm going to keep it to. Next, we have our frequency. We've got two options here. We have export once or we can export every two months for one year. Again, we're going to keep this video very simple and I'm just going to go with export once. Next, we have file type and size. I recommend staying with .zip since it can be opened by almost any computer. Next, we have our size, which we can increase up to 50 gigabytes. Now, this is going to depend on how much data you're downloading, but if you're keeping it relatively small, I would say 10 gigs or less, I would stick with the two gig option just because it might simplify things. So once we've set all our options, we can create export. The next screen we get here is export progress, and it just lets us know that Google is creating a copy of our files from Google Play Music or whatever data options you also selected. Now this is important to note here, Google Takeout states this process could take hours or days to complete. Now I previously did this with the Google Play Music option only selected, and it took me about an hour to receive all my data in an email download link. Now here we are with the Google Takeout email, which includes all the download links for all our Google Play Music data. Now you can see we have five download links for Google Play Music, and that's because we limited each download link to two gigabytes. Now, of course, I'm doing this on a Chromebook. This is the Google Pixelbook Go, so you're gonna see how this works on a Chromebook. So we're gonna start by clicking download one of five. Now, before I arrived at the screen you see here, I actually had to sign into my Google account again for security reasons. Now you can see we have this little mini window pop up and we're gonna give this a try again. I'm gonna click on download part one of five. Now, because we're doing this on a Chromebook, I'm going to show you how to also create a new folder to download all your Google Play Music data into. So you can see I pre-selected a folder here called Music. I created this in the past. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Alt and then also click on the mouse. And then we can create a new folder. Now, I normally title these Music Backup and then I put the date. We have 10, 4, 20. And then I just click anywhere on the screen that saves the folder. Now we want to make sure that all our data actually goes into that folder. So we'll double click on the folder itself. That brings us into the folder. Now we can go ahead and save that first zip by clicking save. And then we'll repeat this process for the next zips. Now you can see we have some weird things going on here. We have two different file types. We have zip archive and then we have CR download file. Now the important thing to note here is if you try to click on CR download file, it's not going to open. It seems to be an unsupported format. Now, I don't know why this downloaded, but I just wanted to point it out. So we're gonna click okay. 
Now we can go ahead and click on one of the zip archive folders and that opens up a new folder that gives us a takeout option. We're gonna click on that. And then we have a Google Play Music option. We're gonna click on that. And then we're gonna have a track option. We're gonna click on that. And you can see all our tracks are going to be here. I would just double check this format here. Again, MP3 audio, that's what we're looking for. We're gonna scroll down and just make sure that they all state MP3 audio. And this is important because I'm going to take you back here and show you a folder where it has the track names, but they're in a different format. Now here we are in another folder from Google Takeout and everything is looking good. We have our track names here and then we have our file type, MP3 audio, everything looks perfect. But if we scroll down here, you're going to see that we start getting that CSV file. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on one of these and I'll show you what happens. So this opens up a link in the Chrome browser. It brings us to what looks like a spreadsheet and it doesn't play the song. It just gives us data here about the song and how it was used in Google Play Music. So we're going to close out of this here and we're going to go right back up to one of the files that are MP3 audio, Zade Wolf. That's a good song here. We're going to click on that. And you can see that actually starts playing. So the important thing to note here is that you still have to organize everything. Google Takeout does some of the work but it still makes it kind of a mess. This is kind of the Google way. They kind of help you halfway and you have to do the rest of the work. So I hate to say this, but what I'd recommend is creating another folder where you throw only the MP3 audio type tracks into it so that you organize everything a little bit better and you don't have all this mix up of a mess. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would like to buy and anything that you do buy from the storefront does support the channel. The next way you can support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can support the channel is just by clicking that subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers. If new viewers see lots of likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the videos are helpful and the channel is worth watching. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out.